Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to the kitchen. A lot of people can and preserve food. Well, I'm going to show you a twist on something to do with your green beans. Okay. I have just a regular quart jar of green beans that I canned. Okay. I already have one. I opened it in the sink to let it drain, but I just wanted to show you, you know, home canned green beans. Okay. I have my pan. I'm putting it over medium heat. Folks, calls for butter. I don't have any butter. I'm out of butter. So I happen to have some margarine, so I'm using margarine. But butter is better. your all's favorite way to eat a green bean? I really honestly don't know what my favorite way is. I love them. I like them cooked. I like them roasted. I like them wrapped in bacon. And I really like them fixed this way as well. Okay. So, I've got probably about three or four tablespoons of butter. Okay. Don't worry about trying to get the uh, written instructions, guys. I'll give it to you. Okay. I have onion bell pepper and garlic. You can use any color onion or any color bell pepper that you want. Okay. Put this in here and mix it up until the uh, onions and peppers get tender. Now folks, I'm using the uh, canned green beans. You can also use fresh, get about a pound, pound and a half of green beans. Uh, take the ends off of them. If you want to break them, fine. If you want to leave them big for presentation, that's fine too. But you need to cook them until they get just a little bit tender and then drain them and then go from there in the uh, process. But I chose to use what I already had canned to make it fast and easy and use what I have. So let's just get this tender and we'll get our seasonings. Okay, our peppers and onions and garlic have sauteed until they started to get nice and soft. So I'm gonna dump our green beans in here. Get that last little thing there. Stir it up. Guys, this smells so good. It really does. Now, folks, the seasonings are to your taste. Everybody has a different taste, so I'm going to put just a little bit of black pepper. We don't use a lot of salt here. If you like a lot of salt, load it up. We don't. I use either sea salt or pink Himalayan sea salt. This is the pink. And just a sprinkle of the crushed red pepper. You guys always have to look and see where the little holes are in the lid so you'll know which side to open. I do. Okay. Just a sprinkle of that. We don't want it too spicy. The little one might whine about it. Of course, he whines about a lot of things, but anybody that's got kids or grandkids knows what that is, right? Okay. I have a little bit more butter, guys, and some brown sugar. We're going to make this sweet. I mean, it is sweet and spicy. And for a little bit of an Asian flair, about a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Whatever brand you happen to like the best. That's what I had on hand, so it doesn't really matter. The smell of that changes instantly whenever that brown sugar gets in there, guys. All we have to do is just stir this up and it's going to get a little bit sticky where the brown sugar is going to melt and it's going to make a glaze on it. Now folks, this is really, really pretty if you use like a uh, purple onion and a red pepper instead of the green pepper. But again, use what you got. This is what I had. So, we'll let that go. 
and we'll be ready to plate up here in uh, four or five minutes. All right, the uh, beans and onions and peppers have cooled, uh, have cooled. Yeah, they've cooled down a lot. They've cooked down, so you can see how the uh, onions look as opposed to what they look like a little bit ago. So guys, these are done. There you have it. Sweet and spicy green beans. You, and I use what I had on hand. You make what you eat and eat what you make, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the video. Like it on YouTube. Like it on social media. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.